Hello everyone, this is Aaron Johnson with the Johnson iRacing team, I'm bringing you a race today from Charlotte Motor Speedway on the 1.5 mile tri-oval. Uh, this race is going to feature 15 excellent iRacing drivers competing for 20 laps in a nose-to-tail shootout. Charlotte tends to be much like Talladega for the Winston Cup cars. A lot of drafting, a lot of racing in tight packs, and a lot of action. Let's walk through the starting grid, starting in position number 15. That's car number 12, Martin Sahecha. Martin comes to us from Australia, New Zealand, mate. He's a regular in the Spec Ford Challenge Series. Martin didn't make the starting grid in time, so he will begin the race in the pits in the 14th spot. In car number 15, that's the Thrustmaster Chevrolet of Robin Bates. Robin comes to us from the British Isles. Robin is a regular in the Global MX-5 Series where he ranks in the top 500 out of almost 31,000 drivers. Robin, an excellent MX-5 racer. Starting in the 13th spot, in car number 11, that's the Craftsman Chevrolet of Graham Hardy. Graham also comes to us from Australia and New Zealand. Graham's a regular in the iRacing Arca Menard Series. In the 12th spot, in car number six, that's the iRacing sponsored Chevrolet of Tassilo Schule from Lausanne, Switzerland. Tassilo is a regular in the Formula Sprint Series. In the 11th spot, in car number five, that's Jake Johnson in the Mount Vernon Auto Supply Napa sponsored Chevrolet. Jake from Bailey, Colorado. Now your top 10, starting in the 10th position. In car number four, that's the Sparco Chevrolet of TJ Keene. TJ comes to us from Australia. He's a regular in the iRacing Dirt Street Stock Series. In the ninth starting spot is TJ Lambou. Lambouille. TJ in the Wrangler-sponsored Chevrolet from Belgium, Netherlands, Luxembourg region, from the Benelux countries, starting in eighth. In car number one, he didn't make the starting grid in time. It's Pavel Bednarski from the United Kingdom, Ireland region. That's the British Isles. Pavel is a regular in the iRacing Pro 2 Lite Truck Series. In the seventh spot, in car number eight, that's the Monster Energy Drink Chevrolet of Matthias Sulek, also from the British Isles. He's a regular in the Ferrari GT3 Challenge Series. In the sixth spot, in car number 13, sponsored by Martini. He comes to us from the Australia, New Zealand region. That's Jason Arrington, also a regular in the NASCAR Pro 2 Lite Truck Series. In the fifth starting position, in car number three, is Yasuhiro Ochai from Japan. Now, your top four, starting in fourth spot, in car number two, that is the Rusty's Lightning McQueen Chevrolet of Samir Vazisht. Samir, from Australia, New Zealand, is a regular in the NASCAR Arca Menard series. Starting third, in car number 10, it's the City Chevrolet. That's a Days of Thunder tribute car driven by John Roberts. John racing out of Club West. Starting on the second, in the second spot on the front row outside, that's the Marlboro Chevrolet of Nick Vandewall. Nick racing out of the Benelux region. And finally on the pole in car number seven, it's the Pokemon Go Chevrolet of Joshua Hall. Josh, a regular in the Arkham Menard series racing out of the Australia New Zealand region. Let's join the action as the pace car leads the field down the back straightaway. We're ready for 20 action-packed laps from the Charlotte Motor Speedway, this in the Fanatec Street Stock Series. Joshua Hall leads them down the back straightaway following the pace car into turn number three. Hall, a regular in the Arkham Menard Series. Several of these drivers are regulars in higher series. They've come down to enjoy some racing and maybe teach some of these rookie drivers that are regulars in the Fanatec Series a little bit about how to get around this racetrack. I mean, one of the best ways to learn how to race a track is to follow somebody who knows how to race at the pace cars in. Josh Hall hammers the throttle. Hall leads them into the trioval. They come past the start finish line to take the green flag, and Joshua Hall has jumped out to a big early lead. He's followed by Nick Vandewall and John Roberts. Samir Vazish runs fourth, and Yasuhiro Ochai runs fifth. It's Hall, DeWall, Roberts, Vasish, and Ochai running one, two, three, four, five, but it's Hall out front. All by himself, the nine of Nick Vandewall running a distant second. Following Vandewall is the city car 
in third. That's John Roberts. So it's Hall Van de Waal Roberts running one, two, three, followed by Samir Vazish and Yasuhiro Ochai. We come by to complete lap number one. Josh Hall continues to lead, and he takes the field through the trioval into turn number one. It's Hall, Van de Waal, Roberts, Vazish, and Ochai, followed by Mateo Sulek, then Lambui, Arrington, Jacob Johnson, who shows up on your telemetry as Aaron W. Johnson in the five car, but he's actually Jacob Johnson driving there, uh, followed by T.J. Keene. So Johnson has now moved into the top 10 after starting in the 11th spot. It's Josh Hall first, followed by Nick Van de Waal, John Roberts, Samir Vazish, and Yasuhiro Ochai running one, two, three, four, five. Josh Hall continues to have a big lead here. And so let's see what's going on a little further back into the pack. We're on lap number three of 20. We're riding along with the two of Samir Vasish. Let's, uh, let's jump in with a 10, and that way we can kind of follow this second group to see if they're going to find the way to chase down Joshua Hall. At this point in time, it looks like it's the 7 of Hall still out front, followed by the 9 of Van de Waal, the 10 of Roberts, then the 2 of Samir Vazish, Yasahiro Ochai running 5th, Mateo Sulek 6th, then Lambui, Aaron Johnson, well, Jake Johnson now has moved up into the 8th spot. But up front, it's still Joshua Hall all by himself. We're here on lap number four. Hall continues to lead. It's Hall, Van de Waal, Roberts, Vazish, and Mateo Sulek now has moved up into the fifth spot. PKF Lambui running in the sixth position. Ochai has been shuffled back to seventh. On lap four of 20 here, it continues to be Josh Hall with the lead. The nine car now looks to the outside. Nick Vandewall taking a look to the outside. No dice. Josh Hall leads them into turn three through four now onto the front straightaway. It's Hall... Van de Waal, Roberts, the two car and the eight get together. Terrible crash here as the eight and the two crash. Both of them backward, no damage, no harm, no foul. But boy, that really could have been disastrous. Let's go back up front with Josh Hall. Josh Hall continues to lead. He's followed by Van de Waal. Now John Roberts in third, PKF Lambui in fourth. Jake Johnson takes advantage of that little mishap to work his way into the fifth spot. Van de Waal looked to the inside, then back to the outside. Josh Hall continues to lead. We're on lap number five of 20 here. It's Hall. Van de Waal. Roberts slips up high, then Lambui and Jake Johnson running in fifth spot. Johnson now has moved up to fourth. He's disposed of the four, the 14 of Lambui. It's Josh Hall followed by Nick Van de Waal, then Jake Johnson, who's now moved up into third. Uh, Behind Johnson is the 10 of Roberts, and then behind Roberts, it looks like it's still the 14 of Lambui. Hall runs up front, followed by Nick Vandewall, then Jake Johnson. It's Hall, Vandewall, Johnson running 1, 2, 3. Johnson starting to put a little pressure on the 9 of Vandewall. That Marlboro Chevrolet holds the second position following the Pokemon Go car of Joshua Hall. Van de Waal looking to the outside. Van de Waal smacks the wall a little bit there. Johnson takes advantage of that to move to the inside. Jake Johnson now has taken over the second position after Nick Van de Waal bounced off the wall in the trioval. It's Josh Hall first, Van de Waal second, Jake Johnson third, followed by the 10 of John Roberts, and then trailing behind that group, the 14 of Lambui. Johnson right on Hall's back bumper. They go into turn number three now. Jake Johnson continues to... Keep that white Chevrolet on the bottom line, that Napa Mount Vernon Auto Supply Chevy running strong today, but still behind Josh Hall. This time by, they start lap number eight. Josh Hall continues to lead, followed by Jake Johnson, Nick Van de Waal, John Roberts. Behind that group of four, it's PKF Lambui running fifth, but Lambui seems to have lost the draft. Lambui not a factor in this race, as it looks like it's going to be a four-car battle between Hall, Johnson, Van de Waal, and Roberts. Right now, Josh Hall continues to lead down the back straightaway. J Jake Johnson right on his back bumper as they go into turn number three. Then the nine of Nick Van de Waal, that Marlboro Chevrolet, running in the third spot. Josh Hall leads him out of turn number four onto the front straightaway. Hall making this race look easy. This is lap number nine, and Hall has led every lap of this race. It's Hall followed by Johnson, then Van de Waal and John Roberts. Those four cars are your top four. Johnson looks to the inside of Josh Hall. Hall comes down and closes the door. Johnson continues to run nose to tail with Hall as the nine of Nick Van de Waal closes slightly on that top pair. The city Chevrolet of John Roberts content at this point to stay in the fourth position. Johnson 
pulls up close to the back bumper of Joshua Hall in the middle of three and four. They come out of four into the tri-oval. It's still Josh Hall with the lead, followed by Jake Johnson, then Nick Vandewall and John Roberts. Hall leads lap number nine. They come into turn number one, the eight car. That's Mateo Sulak coming out of the pits now after repairs following that accident. Josh Hall continues to lead. They go down out of turn number two into the back straightaway. It's Hall followed by Johnson, then Van de Waal and Roberts. PKF Lambui three seconds back and falling further behind. Behind Lambui is Ochai, then Arrington, Bednarski, Bates, and Graham Hardy rounding out the top ten. But up front, it's Joshua Hall with the lead, followed by Jake Johnson. They come out of turn four onto the front straightaway. We're at the halfway point here. So far, Josh Hall has led every lap. Jake Johnson running second. Nick Van de Waal third. The 10 of John Roberts, fourth. There's a crash. The 7 of John Hall, of Josh Hall, crashes into the rear of the two car. That's Samir Vazish. And Jake Johnson's going to be the beneficiary of that one. Jake Johnson's going to take the lead here. It's now going to be Jake Johnson up front, followed by the 9 of Nick Vandewall, then the 10 of Roberts. Uh, and finally, the 7 of Hall. Boy, what an accident that was. Hall looked like he just wasn't prepared for... The two car to be up high. Jake Johnson, the beneficiary of a mistake there by Josh Hall. Johnson's going to take the lead, followed by Nick Vandewall. It's going to be a two car race here as those two have broken away somewhat from the seven of Hall and the ten of Roberts. It's a really a two car race. There's a little bit of action here in the back as it looks like Samir Vazith kind of gets spun there by Josh Hall. Josh Hall may be showing some of his displeasure at the way a lapped car raced with the leaders. Up front, it's still Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson with about a three-car length lead over the nine of Nick Vandewall. Nine to go. We're going to be eight to go this time by. Johnson leads him out of the tri uh, out of turn four into the trioval. Johnson crossed the start-finish line here. There are eight laps to go this time by. Jake Johnson with a two-car length lead over the Marlboro Chevrolet of Nick Vandewall. Recall Nick Vandewall racing with us out of the Benelux region, one of the great uh, European racers that we've had the pleasure of calling a race for. Vandewall doing a really nice job here trying to hold on to Jake Johnson and see if he can make a race of this later toward the end. The draft here really important at Charlotte. Uh, it's much like Talladega and Daytona are for the cup cars. So as long as you can maintain contact with the leaders, stay inside that lead draft, you're going to have an opportunity to do something in the last couple of laps of the race. But right now, Jake Johnson continues to lead. Seven to go this time by. Johnson leads them into turn number one down on the blue line. Johnson running a nice smooth race here, keeping that car nice and steady as they come out of turn number two onto the back straightaway. Jake Johnson continues to lead. He's followed by Nick Vandewall. Johnson pulling away from Vandewall ever so slightly. Behind Vandewall, it's PKF Lambui, then John Roberts, Josh Hall running fifth. Jason Arrington now in the sixth spot with Yasuhiro Ochai in seventh. Pavel Bednarski has moved up to eighth. Robin Bates, who started 15th, is now ninth. And the 11 car of Graham Cardi rounds out the top 10. Johnson past the start finish line here. Six to go. Johnson with the lead, followed by the nine of Nick Vandewall. This race is Jake Johnson out front now, having been the beneficiary of a little bit of an accident. Uh, for Josh Hall. Let's walk through the field just ever so slightly. The second place car here is the 9, the Marlboro Chevrolet of Nick Vandewall. Behind Nick, the third spot belongs to the 14 of PKF Lambui. Lambui right now racing with a lapped 8 car of Mateo Sulek. In fourth spot, that's the 10 of John Roberts, the City Chevrolet. And in fifth, the 7 of Joshua Hall. Behind Hall, in the sixth spot, the 13th car of Jason Arrington. Behind Arrington in the three, that's Yasuhiro Ochai. Then in the eighth position is the 15 of Robin Bates. In the ninth spot, the one of Pavel Bednarski. And then rounding out the top 10 is the 11 of Graham Hardy. Hardy has exited the race, uh, which means that uh, it looks like we're only going to have nine cars remaining on the lead lap. Let's crawl back in the race car with Jake Johnson. Johnson running first, the nine of Nick Vandewall second. There are four laps to go. Vandewall now is closed on Johnson. They come into turn number 
two headed out down to the back straightaway. It's Johnson continuing to lead. He snuggles that car right down on the blue line. The nine of Nick Vandewal seeing what he can do with Johnson here. They're four to go. Vandewal looks high. Johnson down low. Vandewal on the outside. Johnson on the inside. Vandewal takes the high line into the corner. Jake Johnson lets the car drift up ever so slightly. Vandewal now pulls back down into the draft. They come out of turn number four onto the front straightaway through the trioval. Jake Johnson leads them to the start finish line. It's going to be Johnson leading here. Three to go this time by. Vandewal again looks to the high side. Now Vandewal dives back down low. Now looks high again. Johnson on the low side. Vandewal on the high side. They are side by side coming into one, but Johnson pulls away through the center of one and two as they come out of turn number two onto the back straightaway. Nick Vandewal turns the car down low. Jake Johnson snuggles right down to the blue line, keeps that car glued to the bottom of the racetrack. Going to make Vandewal do it the hard way, go by on the outside. Vandewal looks high. They come into turn number three. Jake Johnson stays on the low side of the racetrack. Nick Vandewal looks up high now, turns down low, trying to get a run off the banking here as they come out of turn number four. Jake Johnson going to lead them to the start-finish line this time. There are two to go this time by the nine of Nick Vandewal in second. Jake Johnson in first. Vandewal trying to find a way around that nine car. Vandewal looks high in turn number one. Jake Johnson stays down on that blue line right at the bottom of the racetrack. Vandewal turning down low again, trying to get a run off the banking. Jake Johnson glues the car to the blue line. Vandewal right behind Johnson. He looks to the high side now trying to use that little bit of draft to get a slingshot by going into turn three. It's not enough. Nick Vandewal now up high. Johnson still down low. Vandewal running down off the banking again. Going to come out of turn number four into the tri-oval. Jake Johnson keeps the car low. They come past the start finish line. Vandewal to the outside. He's Trying to make a pass. Doesn't have enough to get it done. There's one to go this time by. Jake Johnson takes the white flag. They go into turn number one. Johnson on the low side. Vandewal on the high side. Johnson in turn number one. Now through the middle of one and two. Vandewal looks down low one more time. Tries to get a run off that banking. Johnson lets the car drift up. Vandewal looks high. Johnson on the blue line. Vandewal now looks high as he comes down the back straightaway going into turn number three. Vandewal and Johnson side by side. Johnson dives down into turn number three. Vandewal on the high side. Johnson lets the car slide up ever so slightly. Vandewal about a car length back. He comes off of the banking in turn number four. Tries to get a run. Vandewal is going to look to the outside of Johnson as they come to the start finish line. Vandewal making a charge. They're just, they touch and at the flag it's Jake Johnson with a win over Nick Vandewal. Jake Johnson takes home the victory here followed by the nine of Vandewal in third spot. The 14 of Lambui followed by the 10 of Roberts and the 13 of Jason Arrington rounds out the top five. Josh Hall in the seven who led so much of this race is going to finish in, in sixth. Yasuhiro Ochai will finish 7th. Robin Bates comes home 8th. Pavel Bednarski finishes ninth, And Mateusz Sulax rounds out the top 10. That was quite a race from Charlotte Motor Speedway. As always at Charlotte, a lot of action here, a lot of drafting, and a good opportunity for some side-by-side -side racing. But it's going to be Jacob Johnson that takes home the victory in this Fanatec Street Stock Series feature event. For the Johnson I Racing team on the Johnson I Racing Network, this is Aaron Johnson saying, Go fast, turn left, have fun.